So hello guys, today we are cooking the typical Cameroonian food that is by the Bayangi people, water for fun and ero. So as you can see my sister fixing right now, it's called water leaf. Hey. Yes, that's water leaf. It makes the ero soft. Right here we have the fufu, water fufu made out of cassava. <laughs> so actually after you steep the cassava and it's actually dry, it's actually in this dry form, then you mix it inside water and it becomes like this. I will show you the process of mixing during the mixture. So guys, as you can see, this is the arrow in the dry form. And this is like the main ingredient in preparing the arrow. If you don't have this, then I don't actually know what you're preparing. So we are going to do the mixture of this, this water leaf. You see, we just sliced it into, or into perhaps we just chopped the water leaf right now. So we're going to do the mixture of this and this into the pot during the process of preparing. And this is called the fufu, the water fufu which I'm about to go and mix right now in the fire. In the process of doing this, I'm going to show you how to do it. So right now, they are in lumps, you see. So I'm in the process of getting it to be really smooth. So when I mix it, it'll be really edible and it'll look beautiful. It'll be really moist and the rest. So in the process of doing a mixture, use your hands, your hands, or any other thing you like using but don't use a blender don't use a blender this is african meal everything is handmade don't use it if you use a blender okay then i don't know what's going to happen but i know that you spoil a blender so as you can see as you can see guys this is called a typical three stone fireplace african three stone fireplace this is what we use here in Cameroon. You can see the smoke, the fire, and this is what we are going to use to prepare this uh, Cameroonian African fufu and eru. So I'm going to, I'm about to put the pot on the fire right now. See guys, the pot is on the fire, and you see the smoke. It's really hard to cook in this type of kitchen. You hmm. will see my face during the process of making this fufu. So we call this the fufu stick. We use this. As you can see, we use this to mix the fufu so I can get ready. So we have put it in the fire now. What you are going to do is you are going to allow it to boil a little. And we are going to mix it till it gets ready. Because if you allow it without mixing it, it's become like, it's like plum. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's koro koro. That's like, let's call it. Let's call it in. Let's call it in Cameroon pigeon. Koro koro. It has koro koro. Many will be in lumps. But you can still use gas if you want. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but this, uh, in fact, this smoke is already killing me. Uh. It's not really easy to cook inside an African Cameroonian kitchen. So we are doing the African style of preparing this with an area. Stay tuned and you'll see how this food turns out. And I'll, I'll taste it and eat it for you so you should know how it tastes like. See you later. So as you guys can see, this is the end food. <laughs> so anytime the no go waste it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in a part two of this video for doing the area.